Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a car slam with dust effect in After Effects. First of all let's rename our clip to original and then duplicate it. Rename duplicated one to clean and make sure to toggle off original layer. Select clean layer and now we have to mask the car. To mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha, grab a pen tool and mask the car like this. Once you are done, click on tracking button. As the tracking is finished, click on save and close Mocha AE. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks. Press M on your keyboard now to open masks and change mask mode to subtract. Now go to content aware fill tab and click on create reference frame. This will open a Photoshop for you. In Photoshop select a remove tool and remove this transparent spot. Once you are satisfied with the image, press Ctrl plus S to save it and then close Photoshop. Under the content aware fill tab copy my settings and then click on generate fill layer, let's wait until the analyzing is done and the car is removed from the background. Once the analyzing is done, scroll the video to check if everything is fine and once you're satisfied with the results, let's duplicate the original layer and then make sure to move it above fill layer. Rename it to car only and toggle it on. Now we need an isolated car layer. To isolate the car, select the roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible and once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Let's scroll to the moment where you want the effect to end and then press P on your keyboard and then click on position stopwatch icon. Now press R on your keyboard and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Press U now to open created keyframes and then scroll to the very beginning of car only layer. Let's rotate the car a bit and then move the car's position all the way up. Let's play back the video and check it. Seems fine to me, select all keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine now and then let's check it again. That's way better. Now enable motion blur on car only layer and we are done with the first part. To make it look more cooler, we have to add a dust effect once the car slams on a ground. But before that, let me show you how to fix this weird car clip with no shadows. To fix it, duplicate your original clip and move it below car only and rename it to actual video. Toggle it on now and then scroll to the second keyframes of car only layer and cut the beginning of the actual video till those keyframes. And now shadows are back again and car looks way better and everything is natural. Let me show you before and after doing it. That's before. And that's after. Once we have that clean look of the video, we can add a dust effect too. Select your original clip and toggle it on, then make sure to solo it so we can see only that video. Then go to Tracker tab and click on Track Camera. Expand Advanced and tick Detailed Analysis. Once the analyzing is done, let's select some points right on the car. Right click then and select Set Ground Plane and Origin. Right click again and select Create Solid and Camera. Let's drag and drop a dust footage, I will leave a download link of this one in the description. First of all let's double click on anchor point tool and I will move the anchor point the bottom of the dust footage. Now link dust layer to track solid and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard and scale it until you are satisfied, then correct X, Y and Z rotations and position it until it looks fine to you. And once you are happy with it, unsolo these layers and then make sure to toggle off track solid. Also make sure to move the dust layer below car only layer and then let's correct the timing of the dust to sync it with car slam. Scroll to the moment where the car slams on the ground and move dust layer right at that time. Let's check what we have got and see what we can fix or add more. Looks fine but the dust seems a bit slow, I will speed it up a bit. Right click on dust layer, go to time and select, time stretch. I will set stretch factor to 40 and let's check everything again. Already looks better. But let's add some shakes once the car slams. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. And that changed the whole game, I'm satisfied with the results. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.